Welcome to the Recon Report. I'm Jason, the creator of the Army Showcase and host of the Tabletop Battlefield podcast over at www.tabletopbattlefield.com. And today on the show, we got another quick project for you. Well, it sort of is quick. I guess it depends just how big you want to go, but it shouldn't take too long to explain. We're going to show you how you can build your own custom foam padding cases for your miniature wargaming figures. Now, there's two reasons you're going to want to do this. One, either you've got some really weird shaped figures that don't fit in the kind of stock options that are out there, or two, you want to save a lot of money. This monster's case right here, it has about a little over 3,000 points of Tau Empire figures in it, and I believe I paid a total of about, ooh, maybe a little bit over $20. So you can really make these things cheap if you know what you're doing and have a little bit extra time to spare. So let's go over the components you're going to need for this project. One, you're going to need a case of some sort. Tackle boxes, toolboxes can work pretty good. What I'm actually going to be doing here today is I'm actually going to be working on my war machine figures. So I've got a smaller case because I don't have a very big collection of those. This aluminum box here, I actually got it from my old roommate, but you can buy something like this from your typical big box hardware stores for around $25. Now as to the actual foam, I'm going to be using two different types of foam. They're both closed, what called, well they're both are what's called closed cell foam. Um, and really there's two different thicknesses. Now one is inch thick, and this is going to be where the figures actually sit into. So I'm going to cut holes out in this and place the figures in that. I've also got some half inch thick foam sitting off the side here. This is going to be used one to layer the bottom of your case if necessary and also to put in between the layers of figures. As to where you get this foam, you can buy it online from various websites that kind of sell this industrial stuff, but you can also look for local suppliers who either A, sell foam or also work in terms of furniture and upholstery repair. Because those places may actually use foam to stick in the mattresses and things, so so look for foam stores, but also for anything place that does furniture and upholstery repair, because they may sell this kind of foam also. And once again, it's closed cell foam. So the first thing you're going to want to do is decide just how big of a piece you're going to need. I've got my, um, I got my case divided into two sections. One's going to hold my war jacks, and probably the war cast is on top of that, and maybe some other solos. The other side's going to be all infantry. This case that I got here already has a little bit of padding on the sides and the bottom, so I'm not going to put any of the half inch stuff down on the bottom or the sides. We're just going to go ahead and start putting the black one inch thick foam in there. Just measure out the area you're going to cut. So we're going to go eight and a half inches by twelve and a half. So get out of your foam here. Measure out eight and a half inches by twelve and a half, obviously depending on the well, measure out your proper size for you, whatever it may be. I find for marking these things, if you can, um, highlighters actually work decently well. As now for cutting the foam, you want to use some kind of small saw. Hobby knives and those kind of box opener things don't really work too well. They can, but they aren't very great at it. Get a small hacksaw of some sort and that will tear right through this foam in a hurry. Plus, by using a saw, it's a little bit less messy than if you were to, say, take a hobby knife and try to kind of gouge your way through it. There's a lot fewer pieces of foam go flying around. Once you've got it cut, get your case back out. Let's see, you may have to, you know, resize it, depending on how well it fits. That fits pretty good in there. So now it comes to the area of actually cutting out the slots for your figures. The trick here is you want to have a snug fit, but you don't want to, have, you know, you want to make it so it's not too tight to where it's going to damage the figures you can put it in there. But also if it's too loose, the figures just kind of bounce around and that kind of doesn't really serve any purpose. So lay your figures out like this, and you want to kind of lay them, you're going to figure you're going to put them in in such a way that you want to take, this is going to be kind of confusing to explain. But the plane of the figure, which has the largest area, is what you want to have parallel to the base of the box. What that means, if you look at a figure, you would see, you know, like for example, in the Lancer, he has a giant sphere that sticks out. So that kind of area, that with the spear, if you draw a little square around the spear and the war jack, it's a very large area. You want to make that large area be parallel to the bottom of the box, just because it's 
usually takes a little less space that way and also by having objects that are kind of parallel to the box you can put more foam on top of them and they're less likely to break because something's kind of sticking straight up out of the you know so that's the idea behind it it's, like I said it's kind of confusing to explain but that's the idea behind it and the trick here is like I said to get a snug fit what I like to do is I plan on cutting a little box that's maybe just a tiny bit wider than the base usually on most figures the base is the widest part maybe some have little guns sticking off a little bit wider maybe an arm or two but most of the figure is contained within the shape of the base of course if the figure is a lot larger than the base in some cases which it probably occurs make your box just a little bit smaller than the widest width of the figure now when it comes to marking off the height of the figure well, just like you did with the width mark the box a little bit shorter than the total height of the figure so it's a little more snug fit vertically as well as horizontally so once you've got the width and the height of the figures marked off go ahead draw some boxes and you'll start seeing it all come together got all my spots marked out now it's time to cut these out we're going to use a saw to go ahead and just cut them out so that part is really simple the one thing to keep in mind here is if you've got a nice sharp saw just go ahead and start jabbing in there and cutting if you don't, use something like a pencil or a pen or something like that to actually poke a hole first, then you can start cutting. So here we go. I've got my finished thing all cut out here. Um, don't worry too much if the edges are a little bit ragged. You're not going for precision here. It's all about getting the general size and shape. That's all you really need for this kind of thing. Go ahead and put your foam down in your box. And what you're probably going to find is large units such as battle suits, war jacks, and of course vehicles are not going to fit within the thickness of the one inch closed cell foam. So what I'm actually going to end up doing, once I got to make sure all the figures fit all right, I'm going to take this thing back out and make an exact copy of it. So I'm going to have two layers where I'm going to put my, the foam down, put the figures in, and put a second layer of foam over on top of it to give it kind of a little bit of a ceiling. And really that's all you've really got to go ahead and make these things. You should do this over and over again for the various sizes of the figures. And one thing you do want to do is take your other foam, the half inch stuff, and put a layer of that in between basically each set of the one inch foam that actually covers figures. So when you enclose figures within the one inch foam, separate the layers of them with this half inch stuff. And from there, it's really like I said, it's just do the same thing over and over again, keep cutting squares out until you fill up your box or you have all your figure spaces for all your figures. So with that, that's all you gotta do. Thanks for watching this episode of the Recon Report. Once again, I'm Jason. For more information on World of Miniature Wargaming or to submit your own content, check out the Army Showcase and Tabletop Battlefield Podcast over at www.tabletopbattlefield.com. Until next time, have a happy 4th of July, and I'll see you later.